What's up everybody? Awkward Anxious Jennifer here. And I just got off the phone with my appointment with my medication guy. I'm not 100% sure if he's an actual psychiatrist or like a psychiatric nurse because I go to a, like a low income clinic, but either way. <sighs> so I had been doing really well back in, I don't know, January-ish. And uh, over the last few months, my depression and anxiety have been creeping back in because I have bipolar disorder. That's just what happens. But when I, you know, told him that my depression and anxiety were creeping in, he was like, why? What happened? In January, you said you were the best that you've felt in years. So what happened? <sighs> That's such a big stigma that something has to happen for you to have depression. Depression is a problem with how your brain works, the chemicals in your brain. Um, yes, sometimes depression does have a cause, you know, um, life problems um, can, can trigger depression, but they're not the only thing that trigger depression. And especially when you have bipolar disorder, like I do. That's the whole, the whole thing with bipolar disorder is the recurring, um, usually in my case, depression. Um, there are different types of bipolar disorder. And the one I have is uh, marked by recurrent episodes of depression with at least one episode of mania or hypomania, which is like low level mania. And so I've had a few hypomanic episodes in my life, but mostly it's the recurrent depression. <clears throat> and that's, that's the nature of my disease. I'm always, always, always going to struggle with that recurrent depression and anxiety. And I don't have to have a reason for it. It just happens. And it's, it's hard enough getting that stigma from people who don't know any better. Um, but medical professionals should know that there's not always a reason for depression and anxiety. So that's really, really upsetting. Um, I'm kind of, I'm part angry, I'm part sad, I'm really disappointed because mental health professionals should know better. Um, I know I haven't filmed in a really long time, but this fired me up that I, I have to talk about this because whether you have bipolar disorder or, you know, just regular depression and anxiety, using that term very loosely, you don't have to have a reason. And if you're struggling with depression and you don't know why, like, then, you know, you tend to feel guilty for having depression. Well, I don't have anything to be depressed about. Why do I feel like this? It's, it's, the problem is, it's not necessarily in your thoughts. It's in your actual brain chemistry and brain makeup and whatnot. You don't have to have a reason to have depression. So I just I needed, needed to get this message out there um, because it's just, it's such a harmful message to feel like something has to happen to cause depression. Um, so I'm here telling you, you don't have to have a reason to have depression or anxiety. <clears throat> you can, and a lot of times there is something that triggers it, but never feel guilty for having depression or anxiety if you feel like you shouldn't. Um, I mean, I, I remember my first really big depressive episode, nothing had happened. I was just in college and life was fine. And then all of a sudden it wasn't for no reason I could figure out. Um, and it frustrated the people around me, like your life is fine. Why are you depressed? Because that's what a mental illness is. So anyway, I don't think I have anything more to say really. Just if you are struggling with depression or anxiety, try not to feel too guilty about it if you feel like there's no reason because that's not how it works. Um, and whether it's your friends, your family, or medical professionals, don't let anybody make you feel bad if you don't have a reason to feel depressed or anxious. Anyway, I hope you are all doing well. Take care of yourself. Take care of others. 
and i will talk to you later.